Hello guys! This video is going to be start of tutorials where we built a complex real-world application and the topic of our real-world uh, application is online store. In the scope of incoming tutorials, we'll study the most popular Java web technologies. The front-end side we build using React.js. And the first point, guys, you should know about uh, before build a complex application is set and uh, format formulate clear requirements. It's really important uh, important part of your uh, web, uh, not only web, or it can be desktop or mobile application development. Describe your application in details. The clearer you imagine your future application, the more easier it will be to program it in the future. Uh, the second thing you need to do is define the scope of technologies which you are going to use to build your project. Uh, after specifying the technology stack and application requirements, you can navigate to database design. Uh, the fundamental part of every application is database. It doesn't matter if you de decided to use a relational or, for example, non-relational database, it doesn't matter. You need to design your storage beforehand. And so, guys, uh, after we um, specified the plan of our uh, application uh, development, we need to start from project requirements. And let's assume that we uh, were asked to build an online store for a small family business and let's say that our online store sell mobile phones. So we are going to build a list of goods. It's a list of... Um, it's a page with a list of mobile phones and phone detail page where a user can click and read more information about uh, the phone, about the product and uh, on those phone details page will be just a button buy uh, or let's call it will be button uh, put in cart. Uh, we also must build cart page uh, where a user will be able to finish his purchases uh, and uh, enter like uh, address and shipping uh, information, etc. We also built admin panel for product management where a manager of the online store uh, will be able to add products, to edit products, uh, etc. So, next thing we are going to define is technologies for the project. I'm gonna use only the most popular and most modern technologies for Java web development is Java 11, Spring Boot. From the Spring Boot we are gonna use Spring Web, Spring Data GPA and Spring Security. We are going to store all our information in PostgreSQL. I'm gonna use Lombok library to reduce uh, a lot of boilerplate code which arise when you build uh, complex projects. And all this, th this thing I'm gonna build with Maven. The front, pa uh, front end part, as I said uh, earlier, we build using HTML, CSS, JS, and React.js. Guys, it's only, um, uh, it's only technologies for the start of our project in the progress of our development, we will be able to add some libraries or some other dependencies. It's only the beginner uh, stuff for their project. And the last thing I'm gonna show you in this lesson in database design. And database design, you can use only pen and a list of paper to draw your database design. But I'm going to use some free tool, which I'm going to find on the internet to build my database design. I just navigate to Google and uh, type um, free 
diagram editor and I select diagram editor.com it's free I checked it before and I navigate to UML diagrams and I'm going to build my database uh, future database uh, design for my application uh, first table I'm gonna have is just product table product table will store all our products product table will have unique ID uh, product table uh, have uh, title description and image and price that's it I'm not gonna complicate our application I just try to uh, make it simple as it can be Let me increase my diagram okay uh, the next table is users we are gonna store our clients and we are going to store our admi uh, admin users uh, which will be able to manipulate with products like create product, uh, update product and delete a list of products and now I'm going to call it user and it also will have unique ID I can just remove those F key My user will have name, surname, email, password for the private cabinet and for our admins. We add phone to communicate with user over the phone number and our user will have role it's just a string uh, which will indicate user role like just customer and manager and address it's good point to build address in the separate table to store address uh, data in the separate fields but to simplify our application I'm gonna store address in just in, in the row but yeah it's really good point to store just link to address and store address in the separate table next uh, table I'm gonna add is purchase item Purchase item will have unique ID and product ID and count. I mean, if user, for example, select one phone and after he decides to select, for example, uh, another phone uh, and I don't know, maybe he decided to spend a lot of money today in your app store and he decided to select another product for example two phones and put in the cart so we need to uh, store firstly uh, store uh, purchase item like product ID and count of products he selected and then we need another table let's call it order to store all user order our order table will have uh, user ID and purchase item ID and also we can uh, add uh, some field like comment if user mm, want to add a comment to the table to the order and I'm gonna copy paste FK to purchase item ID and now I can just um, union this table uh, product will have link to the 
purchased item, user uh, will have link to the to the order. Let's do it this way, and purchase item will have link to the order. That's it. That's our database design. Yeah, I know it's uh, it's much simplifier than it can be for real uh, online web store application. But uh, you see later that this um, this database design is really good for small uh, online store applications like we're gonna build in in this tutorial section. And that's it for today. Uh, in the next video, we build SQL scripts uh, according to those, this database design and generate empty Spring Boot project with uh, dependencies.